So I am Josia Nim Limos and I am your fitness instructor for today. So I'm going to share you some tips on how to avoid dehydration, overexertion, hyperthermia, and hypothermia. So first, let us discuss what are those. Dehydration is condition caused by the loss of too much fluid from the body. It happens when you are losing more fluids than you are taking in. And your body does not have enough fluid. So, what is dehydration? Dehydration is a condition on where in our body leads too much fluid. So, dehydration occurs when people tend to lose more fluid than we are taking in. So, it causes our body to not work properly. As you all know, our body is composed of 70% water. So being dehydrated can cause a lot of troubles for our body. So it results in... So, since we all know what dehydration is, I'm going to give you the three tips on how to avoid dehydration. So first, before we, before we proceed on our moderate or vigorous activity, first thing we have to do is... Drink a cup of water 4 hours before we exercise. And number 2, during exercise of a long exercise, 10 to 15 minutes during your exercise, you have to drink a half cup of water. Number 3, after you are exercised and after you cool down and such, you must make sure to drink a cup of water but don't drink too much of water. Because you all know guys, dehydration causes weakness, muscle cramps, vomiting, nausea, headaches, and we don't want that because it will affect our daily lives. So we have to keep in mind that we have to drink water before we exercise because it keeps us rehydrated and we have to drink water half cup of water during the exercise because it will help us to keep our body fluids intake because we sweat a lot so we have to to refresh up so same as number three after a sweating a lot we have to we have to drink water to avoid dehydration because people we don't want to have a headache we don't have to vomit and have them say yeah it will affect our daily lives. So always remember that do that three steps to avoid dehydration. Overexertion occurs when you push yourself beyond your physical limits and often results in pain, inflammation, or other injuries. So the next star of our topic is overexertion. So overexertion is when we push our physical limits beyond our control. So it causes pain, inflammation, and injuries. So it this overexertion happens when we don't stretch ourselves before we lift something heavy that beyond our control or we also have three steps in how to avoid overexertion first is p plan to take a lift so before we lift something we have to keep our back straight and lift the thing with your legs and so we have to lift it with our whole body not just our arms because it will make our arms break or so so next thing is l limit the time of doing the motion over and over again so for example you will keep on fidgeting like doing that stuff and it is not it is not controlling or it is not equal because your certain body parts is moving while others are not so it may cause in pain inflammation and injuries so last letter b take frequent breaks when you were in the same position like you are in your class and you have to sit on one art class and it will keep your back sore so please after 20 to 30 minutes try to change position it will help you to prevent back pains and inflammation so let's keep in mind let's keep in mind 
that overexertion causes a lot of pain for us. So, again, keep in mind the PLB. Plan to take a lift. Limit your motions or over and over motions. And B is to take a frequent breaks. Hypothermia is a medical emergency that occurs when your body loses heat faster than it can produce heat causing a dangerously low body temperature. Well, next is hypothermia. Hypothermia is a medical condition occurs when our body loses heat faster than we produce heat. So hypothermia is a very dangerous medical condition and may cause us to die. It may cause our death because we have a low body temperature so your body needs to be heated we need that to avoid bacteria and such so having a body that is low temperature can cause you faint and you may cause a you may cause a dangerous damage on your organs and such and your cells and such so we have four steps on how to avoid hypothermia so first thing we need to do before we go outside or do our activity, we have to check the weather if it's cold, chilly, and so. So if it's cold, the next step will come in. You dress in layers. You don't dress like this if it's if it's cold and windy, because it will it will keep you cold, you know. So next thing is that you must make sure to protect your hands, feet, and ears, because. You know, you know, in Canada or other places, if it's windy, they put scarf, they put headphones, they put jacket, and they put gloves. So, it is keeping them heated. So, for the last thing is that drink plenty of fluids. It will help you. Drink water always. Because water is the all source of good health and energy. Hyperthermia is actually an umbrella term. It refers to several conditions that can occur when your body's heat regulation system can't handle the heat in your environment. For the last thing is the hyperthermia. So hyperthermia is an umbrella term or a severe condition wherein our heat system regulations can't handle the heat in our environment. So it causes heat stroke, fainting, nausea, headaches, and pains. So we have to prevent those things. So if we want to avoid hyperthermia, we have four steps to do it. Number one, avoid activities in the heat of the day. So people tend to have jogging, exercise outside. But if it's extremely hot, please don't do so. So number two, wear cotton to your skin. So this thing, cotton are a very observant thing so it will observe the observe the sweat and it keep us refreshing keep us refreshed so for the last thing we need to do is wear a hat wear a hat wear sunglasses wear sunblock to avoid heat and avoid burn as well you know sunburn because we all don't want that it's ugly so for the last is rehydrate so as like different things to do, we have to drink plenty of water because it keeps our fluids properly intaking. So kasi diba, if it's if there's heat, it will cause our body to sweat a lot. So it tends to lose more body fluids. So keep in mind to drink water always. So also, you may know if you have hyperthermia, if you're heat or if your temperature occurs on 100 here for Fahrenheit or 41 degrees Celsius. For today, so we have discussed how to avoid dehydration, overexertion, hypothermia, and hyperthermia. So keep in mind that always drink water, plan to wherein you exercise your body, stretch your body first, don't overexert. Wear, wear cold clothes when it's cold. Wear refreshing clothes when it's hot. So, keep in mind to stay healthy and have a nice life. Bye! 
So again, bye guys. Arigato gozaimasu. Please like if you like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Annyeong! Konnichiwa!